This is when it started, December 31st, 2019. Cases of pneumonia popped up in Wuhan, China. Authorities quickly identified a new strain of coronavirus. By January 20th, there were more than 200 cases of this in mainland China. And in less than two months since patient zero, that number has climbed to more than 80,000 around the world. It's an outbreak so big that people have started using the P word, pandemic. Time is running out to prevent a global pandemic. The window to stop coronavirus from turning into a pandemic is closing. Does this virus have pandemic potential? Absolutely, it has. Are we there yet? From our assessment, not yet. What constitutes as a pandemic can be complicated, but the meaning of the word is simple. It comes from the Greek word pandemo, pan meaning all and demo meaning people. All a pandemic means is that there's broad dissemination of an infection throughout the planet. It really just refers to the geographic spread of this infection. It doesn't actually tell you anything about the infection itself. The novel coronavirus outbreak may sound like a pandemic, but it's so new that the World Health Organization has yet to define what a pandemic for this strain looks like. Using the word pandemic now does not fit the facts, but it may certainly cause fear. The WHO is ultimately what makes the call whether an outbreak is officially at pandemic levels. While some outbreaks are considered pandemics because they're worldwide, other outbreaks are labeled epidemics, which means a disease is spreading quickly throughout one or many communities, but not globally. We can look at the case of the ordinary flu to show the difference between the two labels. Epidemics of the seasonal flu are thought to kill up to 650,000 people every year around the world. But the pandemic flu is much less common, and the most severe pandemic in recent history killed at least 50 million people within about a year's time. This famous pandemic happened in 1918, and it's known as the Spanish flu, which infected one-third of the world's population. Today, people can spread diseases around the world in a matter of hours because it's as easy as hopping on a plane. Most of the new coronavirus cases are concentrated in mainland China, but there are many outbreaks in other parts of the world, like in Italy, where towns are quarantining themselves, afraid the disease will spread past its borders. We have been warning against uh, for a couple of weeks already uh, that countries have to be prepared for the virus literally knocking at their door. Uh, and medical authorities have to be ready. Medical staff has to be trained and there needs to be the, the protective measures for the population and the medical authorities at the same time. What will happen to the new coronavirus is pure speculation. It might become a seasonal infection, or it may burn out completely and be a disease we won't see in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel, where we also dig into big issues around the world in our weekly series, Global News Explains.